Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're going to do a quick check-in just to see where are you now and if any advice comes through. Okay, so it's going to be a five-card spread. There is no extended for this reading. I just thought that it would be helpful to see where your energy is now and if there's anything that comes through. I'm going to actually lay the cards before I start the message and fill out what's coming through for you, okay, Aries? So let's go ahead and get started here. Just wanna know what does Aries need to know right now? Where is Aries energy? Is there any advice for Aries? Thank you. At the center, we have the emperor, this is you. So you're at the center, this, this is a good start. Okay, Ace of Cups is at the bottom, that's the base. Uh, you need to be working through love, okay? Allowing things to flow through you, Ace of Cups. Supporting is the Six of Pentacles, okay? Be at a place where you are allowing, you're giving, receiving, whichever end of the rope you're at. And some of you, you're, you are both, you're giving and receiving, it's necessary. There needs to be a flow, challenge. We have justice, okay? Some of you may be in a point where you have to give because there may be some uh, karma being balanced out here, okay? To get you at the best possible outcome when it comes to your emotional health, okay? And then finally, we have, wow, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you, there's work that needs to be done on your part to rebuild things. This is a really good spread because it shows there's things being fixed, Aries. There's things being repaired. It does take you, your uh, effort. It takes your effort. There's things you need to be doing. Let me see what I get here. Number one, you are exactly where you need to be, Aries. Uh, some of you need to open up your heart more. So heart chakra meditation will help you. There's a need for things to flow through you. Allow yourself to receive whatever guidance is coming through. Do not block or reject any type of guidance that's coming from a heart space. If it's if it's promoting love, if it's promoting you to be, uh, to just go with the flow, if it's promoting you to work from a space of optimism and trusting and allowing and not giving up and to send out positive vibrations, these are messages they want you to take in. Do not reject those type of messages because you're at, you're at a certain point or you can use the energies to your benefit at the highest uh, vibration. I hope I said that right. Because there's something about needing to balance things out. On the other side of you, we have justice. Okay, both of these, there's a scale. Okay, it's a scale here, scale here. Challenging is justice. Supporting you is Six of Pentacles. Some of you need to start giving. So some of you are being called to do some type of work where you're giving to others. Giving of yourself. Encouraging others. Now, this lets me know a lot of you have been focused on yourself, which is not bad. Um, at the center here, the Emperor Aries, that's you, first house. It is the sign of self. Some of you may have, or whenever you look at whatever you're going through, you can only see it from your point of view. That may need some work. There needs to be a balance when it comes to the emotional capacities of how you're looking at whatever is going on in your life. There needs to be some sort of equilibrium of the information coming to you and how you receive it 
how you reflect on it, how you analyze it. That way you're able to see it from your point of view, as well as whoever is involved. To balance things out for you. Some of you may sometimes be at an extreme level of self when you analyze an issue, not being able to put your feet in another person's shoes. That needs balance. That needs work. Let's see your overall energy here. Yeah, this is like giving of yourself. This is actually reaching out, making amends. This is being in a place where you just want to be friends. You want to work things out. You want to fix things. This is a gesture of friendship, of let's do it again. Uh, you know, some of you, there's probably an apology needed. Okay, I'm saying this because justice is on your challenging side. which means the challenge is balancing out the scales for some of you. Okay. Let's see what the next three cards would have been. Yeah, see, yeah, this is on um, your end. Okay, this is on your end, taking action. Some of you may work out of the emotional uh, spectrum more heavily than the mental aspect here with the chariot. I'm getting other things, but let me, let me keep going here. Yeah, some of you may be very stubborn when you see things your way, it's your way. These are all majors. So some of you could be dealing with another Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer, Taurus. You may have these on your, on your chart. These are some major energies uh, that shouldn't be ignored. Um, they're saying just make up, make up, try to fix things, try. If there's anything that recently happened where it just a major blow up and things went out of control, they're saying reach out and just offer like offer friendship. It's like let's just forget what happened and move on. They're wanting you to do that. Right now, this helps you, Aries, um, to move into the next step. The next step, yeah, this will help you. It's almost like don't stay in a place where you're upset. Be in the space where you're wanting to fix things, you're wanting to balance things out. And it seems like the burden is on you, okay, Aries? Um, that's what I'm getting. I mean, these three cards here, And this is, the next one would have been the King Cup. Yeah, a lot of you, this is about how you deal with things and how it's very emotional. All this water, what's next? Page of sword. Listen to what's coming out. I feel like a lot of you are already getting these messages. They're trying to remind you. They're trying to remind you so that you won't experience delays. All right, if you're experiencing delays, if you feel like things are not happening, this is your message. They're trying to remove the blocks. Pay attention to the messages. Um, there's something about getting out of, not to operate from emotions only, balance, emotions, and, you know, mental. Emotions and logic, balance them out. Okay, so when I see this, because there's a lot of um, energy here that keeps reminding me about this is your base. This is the base. 
these two together, this is somebody who is emotionally stuck in their ways and can't see another person's point of view at all. And they're not willing to. This is someone who's not willing to, a stubborn, emotional person. This, to me, is someone who is playing victim. It's like, I can only see it my way and you're doing something to me. So this is really, really a lot of water. Chariot is cardinal water, ace of cups. If you use this the right way, you're going to get a really wonderful outcome, actually. If you use this the right way, this is powerful. Uh, it's at the base, which means shift your, yeah. You guys are at a powerful place because you can shift your trajectory if you can balance what's happening and see the bigger picture this to me is a um, infatuation with something. Uh, this is someone who doesn't, they can only see it through emotion. Okay, they're brightening this up. So this is probably something you all are dealing with very strongly. So this is why the balance is here. They're trying to balance you out and fix things. Okay, makes sense. Because if we do from south to north, you reach a place where things are repaired, things are fixed. They fix it. If we do from east to west, you need to give to balance things out, as you give, you receive. It puts you where you need to be. And you you pay off some karma. And things start actually working in your favor. So if we allow the wheel to turn... You start to give. You'll find that you're at a more emotional space. Things start balancing out. Things are fixed. Things are fixed, y'all. They're trying to remove the delays. I'm going to put these six cards back. It starts with you making up with someone or with yourself. This is being at a place where you're no longer at an extreme point of view with whatever you're dealing with. To where you can actually reach out to anyone you have issues with and be like, you know what? Let's squash it. Let's be friends. Let's move on. Okay? And that's going to help y'all. And that is the message. I'm going to see if we get anything with angel answers for Aries. Yep. Ask for help from others. Some of you are being called to reach out to other people. If there's something you need help with, ask for it. This requires you to reach out. This does require you to let go of pride. All right. Anything else for Aries? They're saying ask for help, Aries. That's going to be what helps you out right now. And they're sending you the messages you need to, to hear and you need to know at this point of view. Ask for help. Okay. That is your message. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.